Hey everybody and welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video what I'm going to do is make a Discord bot for my Discord server by using GitHub Copilot. So I'm going to try and write as little code as possible and just have GitHub Copilot write as much as possible and I'll just write comments telling it what, what to make. I have a list of features here that I wanted to create um, and we'll see how it does. This video was inspired by another creator and I'll leave a link to their video in the description but without further ado let's get straight into it. I already have my client token in my environment file so Let's start by importing client token using dot env, blah, 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 blah. And then if it's not going to prompt it, I'll just say constant token equals, and then I'll be able to get that. I'll say import discord. Okay. It got the comment for that already because that's exactly what I wanted to do. Create a new client. That's what I want. Um, and discord now makes you have, uh, things called intents. So, uh, all right, so we're going to get these int intents in. These are a lot more intense than I need. I only kind of need it to do this. Um, actually, I think I need to have access to members, but I don't think I do. And I don't think I needed to have access to members reactions to message reactions. So these are kind of like the things that your bot is allowed to do. So now that we've created a new client, let's log in to the client, log into the client client.login token um, let's put that down there and listen for messages uh, listen for messages if the message is from the bot itself then we want to ignore it then let's check to see uh, if this starts with the prefix we don't have a prefix variable um, so let's make one really quick. Constant prefix is, I don't know, we'll just go with the classic. Let's go with the classic. Uh, go with the dollar sign, because I think that's cool. And I already have a bot that uses the exclamation mark. So if the command starts with the prefix, then we'll be good. So first of all, let's start by splitting the message into an array. This kind of just makes it so that uh, we have our arguments. Now let's start off by doing a simple command just to check if it works. Uh, make a ping command, and then we'll see if our bot is up and running correctly. Uh, make a ping command. All right. All right, let's see if this bot works. All right, let's make a terminal, and just hit them with the node index.js. That's not what I meant to do. Node index.js. And I think that works. So we'll go here. We see that our bot is online, which is good. And if we do, uh, not exclamation mark, dollar mark ping, we get pong. So the first command at least is working. And this is just a test because we don't really need it to do anything like that. And again, I'm pretty sure we don't actually need it to save that. Um, we don't need to have a ping command. So let's actually move on to doing what we actually needed to do, which is uh, make a command that returns the member count of the server. And let's see if this works. Let's restart the bot. And let's just go back and we'll go member count. And the member count is 220, 221, which is correct. So that's working as well, which is awesome. Now let's do something like uh, make a command that links to my YouTube channel. And we'll do this for all of the social media links. It doesn't know what my YouTube channel is actually linked to, and I'm not going to click on this link. So I'll just change this to my actual link. You should subscribe, by the way, if you want to see more cool videos like this. Then let's make a command that links to my TikTok. I think I have this link copy pasted. If I don't, then that'll be awkward. Bars or TikTok. You know, uh, this was a good attempt at guessing it, but that's not my username. My username is Sid Coates. Now that we have all that done, let's make another command that's a little bit fun, which is make a command, uh, make a command called echo that repeats the message given in the arguments. All right, so let's see what this does because I'm not sure if this will work. So first of all, let's stop 
bot, restart it. And we're gonna go back here, and we're gonna do echo, hello, and it works. And echo, hello, my name is Bob. And that works too. So, we basically got everything that we wanted. I, I wanna link my blog too, so make a command that links to my blog, sidcodes.com. And boom, that works as well. All right, it should work. Uh, blog, what's the command called? Oh yeah, I need to restart the bot for it to actually work. But I'm bum, and now if you go blog, you type out blog and send it out this time, It'll work, and I don't know if this is actually my URL because I think it might be 2D's, it is. So let's edit that. And we go like this. And we restart, and we send another blog message. Boom, we're on my blog, which is awesome. And those are all the messages that I needed to send. That's pretty cool, and if you want to actually, you know, try out your own Discord bot, there's plenty of cool tutorials online to get started, but this was really easy to do, and I didn't have to write any code, basically. All I had to do was write comments explaining what to do, which in a way is programming, but it did everything for me, and it did it really well and very quickly. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and leave comments on what else you want to see me do with GitHub Copilot. See you in the next one.